Yo, what's up guys? It's Trev back again here bringing in the video. So people have been asking what I think about the uh, upcoming matchup between uh, George St. Pierre and uh, Nick Diaz for the UFC uh, welterweight uh, uh, title. Um, and so I'm going to do a prediction. Uh, I know it's a little bit early, but uh, this is an exciting matchup. Uh, probably going to be one of the biggest fights of the year, um, you know, upcoming pretty much aside from the Strike Force Grand Prix finale or the UFC Heavyweight Championship. Um, this is one of the biggest fights of the year for sure. Um, you know, we've got on one hand we've got GSP, you know, the super wrestler, the decision winner, um, the guy that really hasn't shown any weaknesses uh, in a while. Um, you know, his wrestling has become so good that he's been able to out wrestle pretty much anybody in the division. Um, you know, and he, there's even been a lot of talk about him moving up to um, fight at 185. So that being the case. Nick Diaz is pretty much the last really good competitor at 170 that uh, that I feel will be able to challenge GSP for a long time. Uh, Nick Diaz poses a lot of threats to George St. Pierre that a lot of other guys don't. He's got the best striking in the welterweight division, most likely. Um, just knocked out Paul Daly, who was just a striker, you know, only a striker. Um, he's also been in talks to do pro boxing, but he decided to stay in MMA just for this fight. Um, he's got amazing jiu-jitsu, you know, as good a jiu-jitsu as uh, Jake Shields or close, very close to. I'm not even sure, maybe even better. I mean, I don't know who's better at jiu-jitsu, if it's Jake or Diaz, who knows. Um, doesn't really matter. Under Caesar Gracie, black belt. Um, crazy jiu-jitsu, crazy cardio conditioning. Um, and aside from that, pretty much just an overall really tough dude. You know, not a guy that gets finished easily. Uh, even when he gets hurt, you know, he's really hard to finish. I don't think GSP is going to be able to finish him. Uh, Five-round fight, of course, for a championship. So that gives Nick Diaz a lot of time in this fight to either pull off a submission, tire GSP out, or knock him out. And as we've seen with Matt Serra, that's not that hard to do. So Nick Diaz can win this fight. Uh, are the odds in his favor? Probably not. You're probably going to see uh, GSP, um, you know, takedown after takedown, time out this fight again and just win a decision victory. Um, I think if anyone's going to finish this fight, it's going to be Nick Diaz. It's not going to be GSP. GSP is not a finisher. He probably never will be a finisher. Um, you know, he is at 170, so, you know, the lighter guys, as you go lighter and lighter and lighter, you, you notice that you see less and less finishes. At heavyweight, you see a ton of finishes. Light heavyweight, a ton of finishes. Uh, middleweight, a lot of finishes. And then it starts to taper off. Welterweight, not so many. You know, uh, lightweight, not many. And then you go down, you go down, and, you know, it gets to the point where it's like they, you know, almost never see a finish in some of the lighter weight classes. Uh, and it's rare. Um, so, you know, is that, you know, I, I mean, um, GSP, you know, it's kind of his fault uh, in a lot of ways that he doesn't fight to try to finish fights. Even if he says he does, he doesn't. And actually, this was uh, this was one of the reasons why the UFC was actually originally sold. Uh, there was an interview uh, last week or the week before on, uh, what was it, uh, MMA, uh, I forget what the name of the MMA show is, uh, Inside MMA with Boss Rutten and uh, the other guy. And they were talking to Rory and Gracie, who's one of the guys who, who one of the Gracies who started the UFC, conceived the idea and everything like that. And the reason why he gave it up was because he said that, you know, with time limits being enforced, you're going to start to see guys not fight, but you're going to start to see guys try to score and win a decision every fight. So essentially it would ruin the sport and it would ruin the sport of cage fighting. Uh, you know, wouldn't be fighting anymore and it would turn it into a, you know, scoring match. Uh, and there would be guys fighting just to try to win the decision, you know, with that in mind. They're not trying to fight to fight and to win a fight. They're just, you know, trying to score to get a decision. GSP exemplifies the reason why he was, you know, he was he didn't want to enforce time limits in, in his main event fights and in these fights. And, uh, and that's because guys like GSP work the clock, you know, work the points. Um, even the way GSP strikes in most cases. Most of the time when he's striking with guys like he was against Jake Shields and those guys, he's just trying to score points. He's not trying to knock him out. He's not trying to finish the fight in a lot of cases. Sometimes he does, but it's it's you know, it's kind of rare that he that he does do that. Um, anyway, back into the fight itself. So I think uh, more likely you're going to see GSP win a decision in this fight. It's unfortunate because I hate GSP. I am a Canadian and uh, you know, 
I just can't stand and watch GSP fight. You know, sometimes people will ask me, oh, you're Canadian, you like, you know, mixed martial arts, you like GSP. And it's like, no, I do not like GSP. <laughs> I don't, I can't stand the guy because he just tries to win decisions all the time. So I'll be rooting for uh, Nick Diaz. What are the percentages? I mean, 25 minutes is a lot of time to be able to catch somebody in a submission or with a good punch. Nick Diaz can do either of those too. He could catch GSP at any point in the fight with a good submission or with a good punch. Um, you look at Chael Sonnen, an awesome wrestler. Um, he has been submitted so many times in his career. When he fought Anderson Silva, had that been a three-round fight, Chael Sonnen would be the champion right now. Five-round fights means that there's more time, 25 minutes to be able to end the fight for one of the guys. So, you know, jiu-jitsu artists, it really gives them a lot of time for fighting a wrestler to try to set up a submission. You're looking at Nick Diaz to try to do that. Uh, also to knock him out. He could catch him with some punches. He could tire GSP out and knock him out. So it's very possible, too, that that could happen as well. Um, you know, In the end, I'll say that you still got to give the advantage to GSP. If you're a betting man, I say don't bet on this fight. And this is why. GSP is probably going to be like a 4 or 5 to 1 favorite right in this, in this fight. Um, so betting on him is probably not a good idea because Nick Diaz could make an upset here. You know, this is a lot closer fight than I think a lot of people realize. I would give this a 60-40 for GSP, 40% chance uh, Nick Diaz wins, 60% chance GSP wins. And the reason being is because 25 minutes is a long time. He could catch GSP, catch him with a punch, knock him out, tire him out, exhaust him with his pressure boxing, or submit him. Uh, so I think if you're a betting man, with the odds the way they are, you want to bet on Nick Diaz for an upset here. Um, that's all I have to say about this one, guys. We'll see you for the next one later. Peace out.